Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play L.A. Noir. Well, we're now going to vent now on to Homicide, the Red Lipstick Murder. Dun dun dun. Gentlemen, take your seats. Let's get this over before lunch. Flight Rose of the Homicide Squad has decided to take early retirement. We will all miss Floyd and the steely edge he brought to his police work. The department has arranged a wee drink at the Galway Arms to quench the mighty thirst a man gets from 25 years of police work. Floyd's departure leaves a place at the top table. And the chief has seen fit to promote Cole Phelps from burglary to the homicide desk. Stand up, Phelps. Take a chair. You're in the major leagues now, Sonny. Rusty Galloway, a fine lawman of the old school, will be taking you under his wing. Your first case is the murder of a woman found last night and bearing all the signs of the werewolf. Get out to the scene, lads. We have hit the Moors crime scene, cleaning desk, and look, streets of LA allowing to control the city and then street crimes. So, was a werewolf involved? So, vampire mask You have the address. It's been all over KGPL. It's off Temple Street, between Belmont and Glendale. Glendale, eat. <laughs> oh, just you wait. Right, so, we're going to have to investigate. I'd rather you took the wheel. Okay. It's him, the cop from the newspaper. You will learn that that is a poor choice, Mr. Rusty. Right, we are headed that way. Oh, okay, so, oh, no, we want to drop onto second, don't we? Ah. If we go along sec second, that's probably the right direction. So I think we don't actually want to go up, do we? Let's just turn around and let's just turn around and go along first and see what happens. I'm I'm kind of taking over the entire road. <laughs> You're not indicating. What are you doing? You weren't indicating. Any central unit, car 16. What happened to Rose? <laughs> no, you can't just do that game. Right, so we're not doing the street crime, but I want to know where it is. It's down there. Parker wants the chief job. Where it is, it's either going to be him or Thad Green. Or so they're both clearing the decks. So where does that leave you, Galloway? Leave me saddled with a chump like you felt. <laughs> I didn't ask for you, and I don't want you, so keep it to yourself. See if you can learn something about seeing how a real cop operates. What did he mean by the werewolf? Medallia. The Daily News came out calling him the werewolf killer. The examiner came up with the black dahlia. Are we any closer to catching him? Not a chance. Six months and hundreds of guys running down leads, and we got nothing. You don't think this has anything to do with it? No. I don't. Ninety percent of murders are domestic, Phelps. Some guy gets into a beef with his wife, he takes it too far. This will be the same. But cutting someone in half and leaving them off the sidewalk, that's a one-off. Why so many women this year? Because of the war. You should know that. Guy gets to kill people every day in combat. Comes home, he's expected to take lift from his wife. What do you think's gonna happen? It's that simple. Like I said, most of the time it is. 
Phelps does strike me as a crazy, bloodthirsty killer. <laughs> Rusty. What kind of first name is Rusty anyway? Sounds well, like a character from Thomas the Tank Engine. Probably is. Oh, oh is he the orange little diesel on the narrow gauge? Oh, I'm fairly sure now I'm fairly sure there is a Rusty. I'm really distracting myself. Ha ha ha. We go down here. There we go. Everything's working out. I know what I'm doing. Okay, he doesn't. So now we're going to go investigate and murder. Unlike the attempted murder last time. Thank you. How about a scoop for the examiner, Galloway? You could use some good press. Another tramp, another message. Is the werewolf back in business, boys? Do you have a mother, asshole? A sister? How about showing some respect for this poor woman? Let us do our job, and Detective Galloway will give you a statement later. He's good, Rusty. He even sounds genuine. That's Phelps, guys. The war hero. Defending the honor of murdered humps. You're used to it, Phelps. Moving along, guys. You got your pictures, you got your headlines. Now scram. She was dragged. Okay. This may require some editing. Hmm. Nothing here, is there? It's all up there. Trollman, this your beat? Yes, sir. Well, part of it. Kids park here, they use it like a lover's lane. It's a working neighborhood. Some trouble, but nothing like this. It's uh, known locally as the Moors. You were first on the scene? Yes, detective. No one's disturbed the body. No, sir. We cleared out them vulture reporters so Pinker and the coroner could work. They're waiting to talk to you. Go house to house and see what you come up with. Thank you. Right. Bedingle? No Bedingle. Oh, Bedingle. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> what can you tell me about the shoe prints? Men's size eights. Pinker lifted impressions for me to compare back at the lab. Eights. Grand. More bang? Bang. Or is this just what I've already done? Alright, oh, yeah, yeah. Already got this. Thank you. Why are you letting me see it again? I already know the size 8. Thank you. Right. Looks like a, a, a handbag. I don't think this is going to be relevant, but. She has hair! Bag. It's probably more important. The victim's bag? That'd be my guess. Looks brand new. Can't be the one used on the body. Hmm. Oh, and nothing else in there. Just. It's different lipstick. So it's almost like he had his own lipstick. A little globe. Looks like some kind of puzzle or parlor game. It's a globe. Right. I think. That's my click. Oh no. There we go. The bottom was in the right place. There we go. Told you it was a globe. The Bible ah. Club. Why steal a table lighter? 
Well, indeed. Unless that's unless he's trying to send a message and wants us to go there for some reason. A lot of cigarettes. Not sure this means much. Okay, so he's not like we've been waiting there. Thing. Probably more stuff that's completely irrelevant. I just made my way out of it. So now it's the body. This is going to be. Actually, let's talk first, shall we? Has the scene been secured? Patrolman Houlihan saw to it. The victim's personal effects are still where they fell. Hmm. All right. Okay, we're investigating the body. Cause of death? It could be the head injuries. She has been badly stomped. The cuts look superficial. I'll, I'll know for sure in an hour. What caused the blunt force injury to the face? Could be anything from a baseball bat to a lug wrench. I'll have more details after the autopsy. Yeah, so the skull is now in several pieces. Anything on the hand? Any ring? No. The left is probably more telling anyway, isn't it? What about this wound on the finger? Something removed. A ring, most likely. I assume it was taken post-mortem. But not the ring finger, so not marriage. So, so assumedly not married? Hmm. Interesting. Yes. No, me no comment on the message? Okay. What does the writing on the victim mean? BD. Like Dahlia? Tex? Your guess is as good as mine. Could be something to it, or it could be the killers trying to throw you off the scent. Either way, I'll run tests on the lipstick. Any idea of the time of death? From the temperature, I'd say after midnight. I'll confirm with you later. Can we get to the bomba? Man could die of thirst in a case like this. That's currently our only thing. Do we have any other areas in the location? Oh, we finished there. Okay, that's good. We can probably step over. The right, let's go through. Let's let's do this. Let's do things properly, or at least pretend to. <laughs> uh, uh. Right. So, to the Bomba Club then. Hopefully, we're not met by a similar s scene. Actually, which way should I be going? I should be going the other way out. Where even is it? Oh, it's over there. Actually, if I go up and left, I can wiggle through this way. Which allows me to go past these ha this hall of records and up. My money? Copycat. We can't rule it out. We need to work the evidence. Yeah, you'd love that, wouldn't you? A big head to hang on your wall. Caller of the decade. You've been working evidence on BD case for six months and got nicks. There's a difference, Rusty. Oh, yeah? I just started working it today. Okay, odd shot. What's more likely? Oh, that's the werewolf comes back around, leaving us unknown in a corpse? He clearly has a thing for power. Power over women. Why not power over the police department as well? Let me finish, fellas. A guy opens his mouth again after six months of stooning. Or some opportunist who's been reading about the BD figures, he'll rip off the M.O. and get himself a freebie. That's not totally fantastical. You know, the examiner in the Daily News might be good at coming up with monikers, but they're terrible for police work. There's a reason we didn't get the son of a bitch after the short murder was them, locusts. Where do you think the werewolf killer is now? Uh, dead by his own hand, stationed somewhere else with the armed forces. San Quentin, another town, another country, who knows. So, Phelps, I understand you want to turn this into a big case, but it doesn't work like that, all right? A case will come and find you. you can't make it something it ain't, understand? So you don't think the werewolf has continued to operate in the Los Angeles area? No chance. You would have found it. Uh, keep going. 
thank goodness, a bit of traffic down there. Officer to down, to down, to down. Anything close? Or is it on a way? It looks like oh, it's quite a way away. So we just want to go first. We just want to go to Broadway, don't we? First, go to Broadway, past Central. Yeah, past Central, then up Broadway. Down. Six Street and Lindley Place. Six Street and Lindley Place. Unit to handle code three, identify. Not just scratch, it's alright. It'll buff out later. <gasps> oh my goodness, why did you stop? Why did you stop? You stopped because I was driving around you. Stupid, stupid trikes. Who do they think they are? Me. Guys, they're just stopping. I'm not gonna move. I've got right of way, but I won't move. Oh, I don't have right of way. I will run into your car. Car. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not accelerating at this point. This is where we want to go. So yeah, we'll visit the club, see if there's anything there, although it seems like a really odd place to have any kind of clues related to the murder, unless maybe you'll recognise the, the victim, but we don't really know anything about her, so that's the issue. Actually, we need to go right here, get into the correct lane. I no, I went the wrong way. Oops. Oh well. Through and smooth. In the cutscene and only then. <laughs> In we go. Just don't know how to dance the bebop. Gentlemen, what can I get you? Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Were you working here last night? Yes. How can I help, officer? You can start with your name. Garrett Mason. You're the regular bartender on nights? I'm a temporary barman. I work for an agency. I fill in at bars across town. Do you remember a woman who came in here last night? Uh, five feet seven, about 110 pounds, blonde hair, about 40 years of age. You mean Celine Henry? Yes. Do you know anything about her? I don't. But the owner, Mr. McCall, serves him most nights. Would you like to speak to him? I would. He sits at the back of the club. Where's the hibiscus? You can't miss him. Is there anything else? Fire away, Phelps. I'll stay here. I'm a little parched. Pour me three fingers of rye. Uh, not seven seas. You ought to meet your buddy. Uh, nice. so he has a flower. That's what a hibiscus is. Where's that goddamn waitress? I assume this is you, Eggs. Mr. Hibiscus. Ronnie. Detective Phelps, LAPD. We're investigating the murder of Celine Henry. Do you know her? Celine? I'm the house Christ. officer. That's the spirit. Sure, I you know, know her. She and I and Jacob, her husband, we go way back. She was here last night? Sure, she's a regular. Celine is. was a lovely woman. Suspect scene with the victim. Not really sure how he's a. Apart from the fact that there was one thing about the Bumba Club, I don't really say. <laughs> Is he a suspect? Oh, so it was a it was a it was a wedding ring, but it wasn't on the 
ring finger of the left hand, which is where it would traditionally be. Because apparently there is a vein that goes from the left um from the left from the ring finger of the left hand all the way to the heart. Maybe also the right hand, that would make sense. But I don't know. Lots of places are connected to the heart, but uh suspect scene with victim. Was Mrs. Henry here with anyone last night? Not at first. Celine already had quite a head start. But she attracted attention? Certainly. A few gentlemen became very enamored with her and her stories. One guy in particular. Okay. You know him? No. He's been in a couple of times. Did they leave together? Yes. At around 11. If it helps, I made the guy's license plate. Brilliant. So, uh, how's your tuna fish salad? I think this could be a great help, sir. Thank you. Are you sure about those first two? To be or not to be? <sighs> I entertain myself. <sighs> right. <laughs> uh, ring from the victim. Mrs. Henry appeared to be missing a ring, torn from her finger, but not her wedding finger. Ah, right. Celine always wore a red garnet ring on the large side. Larger than life, like Celine herself. Did she have it a long time? Sure. Since way back in her flying days. Did her husband buy it for her? No, it was, uh, it was before Jacob. Ooh. You gave it to her, didn't you? So, right, we don't have any relevance. So, like, so I was right. It wasn't that thing, but... I think you know where the ring came from, and I think you're going to tell me. Okay. I bought it years ago. I carried a torch for Celine in those days. Still do? I always have. Her old man never knew about it. All right, knowledge of the husband. You know the husband? Sure I know Jacob. He was in the Corps. He met Celine on a furlough and married her when the war was finished. He put up with a load of shit. Hmm. Do you think he killed his wife? No. No, not in my opinion. <clears throat> There's something you're not saying. Was he ever violent with her? No, I should have gone with my gut. Celine came in here last night looking like she'd taken a slap. They don't live together anymore, so it might not have been him. Okay, so... Thanks, Mr. McColl. You've been a big help. One more thing. Would you have an address for Celine? 142 North Union Avenue. God knows I had to send her home in enough cabs to remember that. Yeah, I should have gone with my gut. So my gut was thinking go with that, but... I didn't. A waitress! Can I have another spoon? Where's the phone? Let's get out of here. What? I want to use hey, what's the hurry? My stool was just starting to warm up nicely. Thing. Oh, this is dead. Hmm. Don't think this is any use to us. Just need to make a phone call. Oh, using one of these. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need a registered owner on a license plate, 2Boy8899. Yes, Detective. I'll need to contact the DMV. Shall I relay the details via KGPL? Please. Thanks. Okay. So I need a bit more information. Rusty's already out. Say, Good. honey, what time did you get off the waiting table? Hmm. The Henry residence. So that's back. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, so let's just go straight on, turn left, down to first, and then just go the way I came again.
Oh, this you is not. find the booze helps you get through a working day? Sharpens my investigatory instincts, Phelps. A smart lawyer might use that to throw out anything you collect today. A smart man might know it's unwise to stand between the patient and his medicine. As long as you're not falling over, Rusty, I'll let it slide. <laughs> That's mighty kind of you, Phelps. You know, you picked the wrong job if a healthy thirst offends you, Cole. We owe it to this city to do the best we can in this position. What are you As homicide doing? detectives, that responsibility is all the more serious. Always the politician. It's not political, it's practical. Maybe the men combing Hollywood Boulevard after the Elizabeth Short murder were more interested in sniffing out booze than the clues that would have led to her killer. Yeah, well, if only you'd been there, choir boy. Betty Short be alive, the Japs would have spared Pearl Harbor. Our ancestors wouldn't have tasted the forbidden fruit. Minor syntactical error, Detective Galloway. I never claimed to be able to prevent crimes. I only suggested a proficiency in solving them. Guess that's the drink slowing you down. Oh my god, brother, oh brother. So Worse than I could ever have imagined. I don't know. Yes, first. All units, officer needs help. 211 and shots fired. Right, tell me where that is. Ooh, that's actually quite close. Right, we're taking it. I'm actually doing one. 391 Broadway, Mallory's Cafe. 391 Broadway. Unit to handle code 3, identify. Oh, no, I've got. Apparently not said I'll do it, but we're gonna do it. Why are you bibbing me? <laughs> Why are you beeping me? I have my siren. All units, officer needs help. 211 and shots fired. 391. I discovered a thing. <laughs> Somewhat busy. Go to hell, Parker! No way I'm going down without a fight. No! Drop the weapon, hands behind your head! Yeah? Fuck you too! God damn it, get out. Put your hands in the air! Is you an apprehend the suspect? He's hiding in the alley! Give it up! LAPD! The nervous son. <laughs> Don't make me chase you! I think he already is, Phelps. Pay attention. Oh, he's jumping off that way. Oh, Phelps, you're quite slow at this, aren't you? How long are you going to keep this up? I don't know why I've still got my gun out. I'm not taking the shot. At the moment. This is going to be a punch out, isn't it? In a second. Can you shoot him? I hear that's a good idea. Surrender now or I will use deadly force. I think I've got to shoot him, haven't I? I would have tried to... I only shot him in the arm. He's not dead. I think. He's probably dead, isn't he? This is Kari Levin King. Advise all units that the 211 from Mallory's Cafe is code 4, KGPL. Roger, 11K. All units, 211 from Mallory's Cafe is code 4. Repeat, code 4. I don't know what that means. <laughs> he's probably... I'm going to go with he's dead. Because that seems to be the normal way they do things. Yeah, I got an initial I got one of those points. Uh, so yeah, forward and then go on to first and then back and then we're back where we were. Brilliant. So second. Whatever. I'm, I'm driving like, oh my goodness. Ah! <clears throat> right. I need to actually turn left. Like that. I'm a safe driver. Shush. <laughs> Shush. Shush. In real life, I am. I mean, I say that. I don't actually do that much driving. 
be a bloke. Um, but I, I normally a lot more. I normally actually just follow the laws, follow the rules of the road. short stint there of driving on the correct side of the road. Um, I should probably get to the point where I actually just start skipping these driving bits because there's not much to say. A man with a gun. In America? Never. On Grand between 4th and 5th. Any sentry unit identified. Oh, okay, I could have waited for that. going, I won't crash. Well, if we keep going, I mean, this is going to go so badly. Oh, you muppet! Oh, you come on! Jesus, my right, there's a guy driving quite madly on the wrong side of the road. I know, I'll drive at my normal speed straight towards him. I'm complaining about the AI on here. <laughs> and here we are. Wait, this isn't it. This is where the flag is. There we go. Let's try and see if we can get in first. I'll try the back door. Wait here a second. One. Okay. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Interesting. Side window's been jimmied. Looks like somebody's creeped the joint. Mm -hmm. Oh, piano. We could play something. Well, I say that. Oh, dingle. Oh, you can't. Right. Yeah. Right. Glasses. Goggles. Don't think this is anything. Flying. Right. Yes. Right. Flying. Oh, family burnt to death. Cops and house fires. House fire deaths are suspicious. Husband, wife, two young children killed. You said I had to go back, doctor. The fires are cathartic. They allow you to confront your past. You said the house would be empty. Are you taking the medication I have prescribed? You said the house would be empty. I heard them screaming. The circumstances were unfortunate. My colleagues had made all the necessary arrangements. You said the house would be empty. You're killing me. The deaths were unfortunate. But you have dealt with death before. I want you to come to the clinic and we can deal with it. You said the house would be empty. How can I find peace? Oh dear. He's somehow connected to all this. Like, the, the kind of... Well, all this, I don't know. But he's somehow connected to Roy, Earl. Oh dear. Ooh, the key! Doesn't tell me anything. In a puzzle game, <laughs> like in a point-and-click adventure puzzle game thing. That would lead us to the next clue. But alas, this is not. 
There's a lot of beer. Well, I say beer. I don't think this is going to be a size 8 man shoe, is it? Size 9s. Above average for a lady. Hmm. Yes. A lot of bottles of, I assume, alcoholic substances. Doesn't seem to be anything here. Hmm. Yes. Smashed from the outside. Burglar used the pry bar. Why did you kick the door in? You think I'm going to climb through a broken window in a $30 suit? You got another thing coming, Buster. <laughs> All right. Knocked on the door. If you sober up, you can find me at apartment two, ten. Celine and Jacob are obviously having problems. It speaks to motive. Hmm. Crime scene evidence still weighs against it being the husband, but Jacob could give us something to go on. One of my exes drank like this, you'd be feeling the back of my hand. Call in burglary and get technical services out here. I'll talk to the neighbors. Don't take all day about it, Phelps. I'll get nasty when I'm thirsty. You're nasty when you're sober. Galloway, homicide, badge number 564. Requesting technical services for a suspected 459 at 142 North Union. Thoroughly investigate every room. Just in case. A regular Amelia Earhart per day. The ring looks distinctive. But she's wearing that on her right hand. There. But it was the left hand it was taken from. And it wasn't the ring finger. Tiffany? The rest of the stuff is junk. Might explain the missing ring. Hmm. This somewhat backs up um, what Rusty was saying, is they stole the ring and then they tried to cover it up. The shoes there. Can I not check to see what size they are? Shoes. Canvassing the neighbors. Let's go and see what they say. Where's Rusty going? Oh no. Oh, you're the, oh, the neighbor I need to talk to. It was LAPD. Are you acquainted with Celine Henry, Miss? Horgan! Jennifer Horgan! I've known Celine for more than 10 years. Our children grew up together. What's going on, officer? Did you see Mrs. Henry go out last night? Well, I'm no busybody, you understand, but... but... <laughs> Celine had been drinking, and she and poor, long-suffering Jacob had a terrible row. I think Jacob may have given her a black eye. He stormed out, and she went back inside. Did he come back? No. Celine was listening to music and shouting until she left around 10 p.m. She was very drunk to have been driving. But she is not the sort of person you can stop from doing something when her dander is up. What is this about, officer? Is Celine all right? I'm afraid Mrs. Henry has been murdered, ma'am. Murdered? Oh, my God. I'm afraid I need to go and, and sit down. All right, the marital problems. I think the sensible thing at this point is to go to Jacob. Let's see what Jacob has to say for himself. Indeed. I don't think Jacob is our man, but we should see what he has to say. I'll see some more. I'm not in your lane! These guys, the drivers just don't like me. It's a conspiracy. Jacob Henry had a violent argument with his wife last night. He's looking more and more likely. Ah, uh, for my money, the broad keeps the house looking like that, so he probably deserved it. The skipper says bring him in. 
keep the hacks off our backs for a while. Fine by me. So it ain't the werewolf killer after all. Good to see you've come to your senses, Cole. I always said work the evidence. I only stipulated a connection to the BD killer as an avenue of investigation we should leave open. And as far as I'm concerned, it still is. Um. It's green, you idiot. You drive. Crumble, crumble. It's the frustration. Is that where am I? I'm here, so I need to actually go down and along. It's probably along Lucas and Rad. But it's like you should try and drive properly. Like, yes, I want to drive properly. You're just making it very, very frustrating. Am I going the right way? I think so. Like hogging the left. Out to the, out to the left hand lane. Actually, I wanted to go left here. Come <gasps> ah. the wrong way. Ah. I'm not paying attention because I want the map on the left. Rather than having a complete knowledge of where we're going to be. Beepity beepity beep, indeed. Oh dear, oh dear. I've gone completely the wrong way. Oh. Right, here. Right. Yeah. Don't want to hit anything. Well, I don't want to hit anything else today. I can avoid it. You're a smart fellow. This is the thing, like, pedestrians, I find it interesting having them in, but they're like, they will just walk. They're, I'm just going to cross the road. Uh, no, I'm driving here. No self sense of self-preservation at all. Here we are. Okay, Phelps, we're going hard. You follow my lead. Uh, um, right. You Jacob Henry? Yeah. Who's asking? LAPD. You're under arrest for the murder of your wife, Celine Henry. Murder? Celine? Save the dramatics. Oh, oh my for God! RKO, pal, you got bigger problems. What the hell are you talking about? You, you come in here, you, you tell me that Celine is. Take a seat, Mr. Henry. That she's. We're gonna have a look around, uh, then we'll talk. Jesus, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Right, let's do the rooms furthest away and move closer. I get even the slightest hint that you're a flight risk, pal. Oh, shoes. Shoes. What size? Elevens. Size elevens. So it wasn't so it wasn't him. This is what we learned. Um but, uh, why would you be packing shoes that are you think the atmosphere's thick in here? Wait till you try to gas you. Okay, so I'm guessing that that's just how they executed people back then. We've had a few times. Um, yeah, so why would you be running away and packing shoes that are too big for you? you probably wouldn't. Anymore, just sit tight. I saw that, but it doesn't look like it's been... Seems irrelevant. Doesn't look like it's been used. What do you mean it seems irrelevant? That could have been what... Kind of... Of really, d ooh, one of these. That's what he's what he's saying. Oh. The oldest problem there is: what to do about the old lady. That's probably very much based on context, and we're not seeing it in its full context. I suspect. Because it's not him, because his shoes are the wrong size. Ah, yes. Maybe if... No. 
He's wondering how to deal with his wife al wife's alcoholism. You are an idiot. Oh, this is not relevant. Oh, the baseball bat is not relevant. <sighs> right, what evidence have we got? Yeah, that doesn't fit. The, the, the death note threat. Marital problems. Yeah, it's the shoes. They don't fit. Movements. So who could have killed Celine? Where did she go last night, Jacob? A bar, I suppose. Look, I don't know. I don't actually have any evidence for this, do I? But I'm fairly sure he's not telling the truth. No, I don't. We don't have any evidence for him. But we get the impression that Celine liked to live the glamorous life. What? How did she end up with a hump like you, Jacob? Celine was one of the first woman pilots. She hung out with movie stars and royalty. But when she came back here broke and struggling, she married a mechanic, put a roof over her head, food on the table. Not glamorous, but the best I could do. I'm not ashamed about that. But we what? No! No! Ah! This is the frustrating thing, because I went back to that, didn't I, with it being doubt. But, um, it's like, movements of the victim. Oh, I don't know anything about it. Yeah, 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 because you know that... Unless he was lying. But I don't know anything about... No, because I don't know any... I don't have any connection to, um... Yeah, that's... Uh, like, we know he was there, but we don't have any reason to think that he... Ah, uh, right. When did you last see your wife, Mr. Henry? Last night. Uh, I went to see her. We talked. Things got a little out of hand. I left. Hmm. Okay. You don't remember what time you last saw your wife alive? Look, I'm sorry. I left. Maybe 9 p.m. Might have been a little later, but... Right around 9. Right, okay. Motive for murder. Why did you kill her, Jacob? Whoa! Things will go better if you come clean about it. What? That's a lousy thing to say. I never gave up on my wife. Lies, we know that one's a lie. I don't believe you, Jacob. I think you didn't have the guts to do it yourself, so you had someone else do it. You want to back that up with something, Big Mouth? Huh? Death threat note. The note by the phone suggests you meant her harm. You want the truth? Truth is, I was sick to death of her. I was trying to have her committed. Right. Oh, your alibi. So you can prove that you came back here after you left your wife's place. I came back here. I was here all night. Start work at 6.30. I'm not the going out type. I'm using intuition on this one. It's probably, it, it might be true, but. <laughs> it might be true. Disappears. Right. I don't have any evidence that you didn't, though. So you were here, I do. tucked up in bed, while someone was out there beating your wife's brains out. That's all you've got? Talk to the bartender at the Bomba Club. He'll tell you, he called here last night, and I answered the phone. We're still going to need you to come downtown, Mr. Henry. We can get this all down on paper, Jacob. How you got fed up with your wife and how you figured killing her would bury all your troubles. Kill my own wife? She was a loss of the tramp and you just couldn't stand it anymore. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> so now you're going to tell me you loved her? Ah, the DA goes all gooey over remorse, Jacob. Okay, he did somewhat deserve that. Okay. 
Okay, how does this work again? You're not just being that. rational. What's this? What? It's a counterattack. Oh dear. Ah, ah. Oh, oh dear. Okay, I nearly, I nearly missed that one. Call it in and get a squad car dispatched. And check for messages. I'll keep old Slugger here company. Okay, so I have evidence that he wasn't... That he was... Apparently... That button. What have I got? I don't have any evidence that he was... I don't know. Oh, okay, I must have missed some evidence then. To get that last one wrong. I don't know. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need a patrol unit to transport a suspect back to Central. Certainly, Detective. You have a message from the coroner. Do you wish to be put through? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Carruthers. It's Phelps. I've completed the autopsy. Several wounds to the head from a blunt metal instrument. Closest match would be a socket wrench handle. So the cause of death was the blunt... No, the blows to the head, surprisingly, were not fatal. Death was from hemorrhage and shock from the fractured ribs and multiple injuries caused by the stomping. Anything else? He's some kind of sex fiend. The tissues of the anus were bruised about one-eighth of an inch, but no trace of semen in the anus, vagina, or stomach. Thanks, Doc. Operator, give me R and I. Any word on an owner for that vehicle? License was 2-boy-8899? Yes, Detective. The plate belongs to a brown 1936 Pontiac. Registered owner is one Alonzo Mendez of 402 South Fremont Street, apartment 16. Thanks. Any other messages? One, Detective, from Captain Donnelly. He wants any and all suspects returned to Central. Interviews to be set up immediately. Got it. We're coming in. We need to get Mendez. No, M Mendez... Right, our argument for him, or the game's argument for him, was he didn't do it, he got someone else to do it, which means we need Mendez. Um. Um. Alonzo Mendez. Sound like a man who moonlights as the werewolf? Don't sound like a man I'd let my daughter have. You've got a daughter. Spend enough time drinking, Cole, you'll find yourself with any number of things you don't want when you're sober. So that's why you never sober up. Exactly. No. <laughs> Carruthers said she took a real pounding. Maybe if he had been a little firmer in the beginning, he wouldn't be in this situation now. I imagine that Neanderthal routine is a big hit with the ladies, Galloway. Women love me, Phelps. I have no complexity. They know exactly what they're gonna get. Oh, yeah, I should check the map. Yep, yeah, right, and then we'll go left. Right, and then it's the next left. Ignore the stop sign. It has no power over me. Yeah, see, see... What, why? Because you're crossing the road without care and attention. It's not my fault. This one. Sixteen, wasn't it? It is sixteen. Mendez, apartment sixteen. Yes. Oh, there's one on the other side. 
What floor? Fourth floor. Third floor. Right. So, second floor. Wait, what? Oh, this is the third. No, what? No, this is the second floor. Yes, this is the second floor. He says, being pointedly British. Fourth floor. Don't bother knocking, just kick the door in. As you say. Take a look around and see what you can find. Okay. Key thing is shoes. Really? Oh. It's a rather size eight. Size eights could help place Mendez at the scene. Well, it looks like this Black Dahlia thing is not the case. Nothing significant. It's a gun. Oh, it's America. <laughs> it's America. A battery. Oh, lipstick. Brothers could match the color and brand of the body. Consistent with Celine's injuries, and the blood can be typed. So, I think, uh, yes. We have the murder weapon. We better get Pinker down here. Why keep it? Why not throw it away? Think these clowns are geniuses? Thank your stars you caught a break. Captain Donald will begin to like you. Hey! What gives? LAPD, you're under arrest. Do not lose that son of a bitch. I'll go get our wheels. Mendez, stop right there. <laughs> oh, there was a clue I could have picked up there. Like, no, I'm too busy. I can't get a warning shot off on him. You don't need to do this, Alonzo! You really don't. It's just making things look worse. Actually, that's a very good point. Why leave it here? Which is what the game wants you to ask. Maybe he didn't. And he gets run over. Nope. Please don't get in a car. Please don't get in a car. Get in and drive. <laughs> Why me? Stop this son of a bitch. Frontal tendency disabled, being suspect. Hit him! Clean this asshole off the road! Shot. Help! You gotta get me closer! I'm working on it. Oh dear. You're under arrest for the murder of Celine Henry. Show me your hands! <laughs> right. So we have arrested him. Is it going to be something like his, he was broken into or something and they were left there? I ain't saying a goddamn thing. That's dumb. Unless you actually did it, in which case that's probably quite smart. You did a grand job, lads. Phelps. That's quite a way to acquit yourself in your first outing as a homicide investigator. It seems the city has a new and vengeful guy. Is this still the red lip? Hello, everyone, and welcome to Crash Tastic. Yeah, we're still on the red, red lipstick murder. So, uh, I'm not entirely sure where this is going to put us. Move the mic. Uh, let's see what, where we are. Are we at like a little wrap up bit, or do I have to run after the guy again?
I can run after the guy again. I have to do this whole thing again. Okay, okay. So yeah, we had a bit of a crash for some reason, and because uh, I've kind of pushed um, the bandy cam cutoff that I'm using to an hour and a half, it hasn't cut in. So we've got to do bandy fix, and that's happening now on the previous stuff, and we're doing this now. Yes, yeah, number sixteen. We knew that. Go to the Mendes, third floor. Apartment sixteen. Yes, third floor. Which is the third floor? Mm, no, no, that one. Too many buttons, doing different things. Go, 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 go. And it's up to the third floor. Yeah, I know, it's third floor. I don't, I don't need to see that. It, it's visible without having to zoom in on it. Well, the top floor is the key one, really. And here we go. Don't bother knocking, just kick the door in. Yep. Take a look around and see what you can find. The only bit of relevant evidence is in here. Where we find a shoe of size eight. We gotta get these to Ray. Size eights could help place Mendez at the scene. They're a bit mucky as well. And lipstick. Brothers could match the color and brand of the body. And a socket wrench, most likely used to brutally pummel Celine Henry. Consistent with Celine's injuries, and the blood can be typed. Right. And there we go. We have the murder weapon. We better get Pinker down here. Why keep it? Why not throw it away? Think these clowns are geniuses? Thank your stars you caught a break. Captain Donald would begin to like you. Hey! What gives? LAPD, you're under arrest. What do not for? lose that son of a bitch! I didn't do I anything. No. Mendez, stop right there! Oh, he? No, he must he may have jumped through there actually. Can I get a shot shot off on him? No shooting less. You don't need to do this, Alonzo! You're just gonna make you look guilty. You don't even know what you're being accused of. Cutscene. Oh, he wasn't that far ahead. Get in and drive. Okay, you could have put it in slightly better position than you did last time. Oh my goodness, he ran into the car. Boom. Hate pedestrians in this game. Uh, uh. Oh dear. He's gonna get away. No. I got an idea. Get him next to my window, Cole. Keep me alongside his vehicle and I'll stop the son of a bitch. Oh, did he stop me? That's nice. That's patronizing. <laughs> Don't go to sleep, Bobby. Get me back in close. Well, he's probably dead. You're under arrest for the murder of Celine Henry. Show me your hands! I ain't saying a goddamn thing. That's stupid. You should say something. Because I don't think you did it. You did a grand job, lads. Phelps, that's quite a way to acquit yourself in your first outing as a homicide investigator. It seems the city has a new and vengeful guardian. Considering the evidence against your suspect, and the thoroughness with which a report was compiled, I foresee a safe passage through the courts, and the DA agrees with me. Brutality on a scale such as this deserves retribution. The people and the press of this city demand it.
Ooh. Okay. Oh, no injuries. Good. Suspect in the, is in the bag, even if you did leave Jacob sweating in central lockup. Not that bad. We missed a clue. Um, we missed some questions. It's probably due, due to question, not questioning Jacob. Possibly. Who knows? Four stars. Distinguished. Case closed. I need something to do this 